If there is one singular thing which I learned from biology is that there is always a pattern. Anything ranging from evolution to microbiology. There is always some kind of pattern which we need to find out. Well, today it's all about recruitment, the job market. The biotech job market is also following a pattern. And if you know as a fresher or experienced candidate, if you know these tricks, if you know these patterns, if you know these hiring strategies which various biotech companies are following, then you can get placed faster. Because at Biotechnica, my aim is to help you get placed faster. Now to start with, today's video will segment it into probably three or four parts. The first will be for a small biotech startup. Then we'll talk about a mid-sized company. And then we'll talk about a mega biotech corporation, right? So let's talk about a small biotech startup. What exactly is happening there? Now the first thing you should know is the way you are desperately looking for a job, these small startups are also desperately looking for talent and they don't get it. <laughs> That's the truth. Many biotech founders during the iBiome meetings, which happens every month, they come to me and say that, Shekhar, we are really struggling. Please help us hire. There is so many people going to the big biotech corporations and getting rejected. So what exactly is happening here? First, let's talk about the recruitment focus. In a biotech startup, they really don't have a lot of resources. So that includes money also. So they'll have limited funding. So they may not offer very high salary, but they, they'll definitely offer something which will be market standards. But their focus is not on the degree. Their focus is on the skill set. So they do skill-based hiring. That is their recruitment focus. Now followed by that, they will give preference to multitaskers who can wear multiple because they don't, they don't have so many resources, so they, they can't have separate departments for this, 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 this. So you might be doing the science job, you might be doing the business development job also. That kind of work environment you'll have. So you will grow as a person, as a professional better in a startup. Their recruitment focus is to hire someone who is a superhero. So if you are a superhero, you should definitely join a startup because you will get exposure which nowhere in the world you can get. You'll get to know how a company runs. You'll get to know how exactly a company starts. You will get to get a chance to work next to the CEO. You will learn a lot from him. And then you will probably become his future business partner or who knows what not. So you actually will get a lot of exposure. You'll get to go to CEO meetings. You'll get to go to high level meetings. And that is where it's very important. Now, since these companies are low on resources, there are only two places through which they hire. One is obviously Biotechnica. So most of the startups are coming to Biotechnica to post their jobs and hire through us because we have a biotech talent pool. The link is given in the description. You can also upload your CV and these startups will be looking at it. And otherwise they will go for referrals. So, they, you know, they will just pick up the mobile, they'll drop a message to me and then I'll forward to our groups and then somebody from the group will apply. Now, generally, you should know this that these companies are very particular about quality because they don't have so much money to splurge. So they will hire somebody, somebody who is a super smart guy. So referrals are common. They don't want you to leave jobs quickly. So they want someone who, who, who will stay with them for longer. They won't have strict rules. Okay, They have limited formalized recruitment process. And often there will be direct applications to the CEO and you know they hire right and they don't use expensive recruitment platforms such as knockery monster or linkedin now what kind of job roles you can get you can always get a dry lab role or as well as a wet lab role so in wet lab role you can get a job as a lab technician quality control assistants entry level researchers and uh, you can also get a job in business development sales all that and those are also very good jobs now coming to the challenges as the applicant what you will face is the salaries will be slightly lower than the big companies stability will be good but they will expect you to immediately be on hands-on there won't be any formal training process because they don't have time for that so they will look for someone who has already done their training and then comes in right all hands on the deck that's what the startup is all about because they have less resources and they want someone to join immediately and start working so now coming to mid-range biotech startups like biotechnica or genotypic or various other companies we hire dynamic individuals who can adapt to rapidly changing clarity because we are growing so fast that we really, we ourselves, including me as a CEO, we hardly can keep up with the growth because we are evolving like a bullet train, probably 
a supersonic jet, right? So we want dynamic individuals who can adjust according to the wind. That's one. Then we look look at innovative thinkers. So probably I'm giving you insights of Biotechnica as well as all the mid mid range mid size companies. We want innovative thinkers with strong understanding of current biotech trends. We don't want someone who is like a robot who needs to be fed with data and information. Then only he can take decision. No, our hiring process will be a little dif- different. So we are heavily reliant on, of course, Biotechnica on LinkedIn, our personal networks, startup events. Referrals. That's how we recruit founders and senior members. Often directly engage in recruitment. Like for example, I myself directly engage in recruitment because I am very particular with whom I'm going to work with. Okay, and the common job roles in mid-sized companies will be R&D associates, data analysts for genomics and bioinformatics, AI, ML, marketing, business development. There can be field jobs. There can be in-house business development. There can be global business development opportunities there can be opportunities where you are talking to other companies for tie ups and collaborations so there are multiple roles wet lab dry lab business development these are the three broad roles which you can get in a mid sized biotech startup what are the challenges you will face as a applicant is in a mid mid sized biotech startup there is too many things happening at the same time so you will have to be a multitasker of course a superhero and high performance is expected you can't just have a laid back attitude and enjoy there will be mentorship opportunities there'll be training there'll be formal train, tra- training process but you are expected to be a superstar after the training but the only difference here is you get the training in a small biotech startup they don't have time and resources to train you so that's where it is now coming to the mega biotech and pharma companies now these companies have established protocols that means more red tapeism more bureaucracy difficult to get in but once you get in of course you can grow What is the recruitment focus? They have a structured hiring process. They will have dedicated hiring teams with defined job roles. So there is a recruitment manager, there is a recruitment team passing through a lot of stages and then finally give, talking to the scientists and finally getting recruited. Now, preference is given for candidates with experience. So generally they hire from mid-sized biotech companies or if you have are alumni of iit iics aims and all that icmrs and all that you know some good colleges candidates are first hired as an intern in these companies you are given opportunity to work and uh, recently i was told by someone that uh, you won't be appreciated <laughs> yes of course because they are so busy with their work and their established protocols people don't have time to talk to you so there won't be places where you will actually get appreciated also while in a mid sized biotech startup or a small startup you will have plenty of opportunity where people will really appreciate your work but in a big company they don't have time for that candidates are expected to be specialized certified trained experienced generally the hiring process if it is for freshers it will be campus recruitments or through biotechnica or through job, other job portals or through linkedin there will be of course they also engage with recruitment consultant including biotechnica there will be structured rounds of aptitude tests technical interviews hr interviews scientific rounds all of that and the freshers will get job roles such as research associate interns regulatory affairs specialist clinical trial assistant quality assurance officers challenges which you will face is there's too many applications coming in so they really you may not get a call at all this heavy competition intense rush and strict qualification and experience requirements and norms and that is where it's tough to get in so the easiest way to get into a bigger biotech company is to get into a mid sized biotech company first and take the experience i'm going to give you some tricks and tips to get inside any of these companies as a fresher okay now starting with a small biotech company what do you do you have to do networking build connections with professionals in biotech field face to face including the ceos directly apply to the ceo apply for an intern whether you he can afford you he can pay you or not just volunteer and work and highlight that you are a versatile person demonstrate your ability to handle multiple roles and responsibilities they will hire you coming to a mid size biotech startup you have to showcase your skill highlight your relevant skill sets such as bioinformatics crispr data analytics wet lab skills molecular biology skills and of course you should learn these skills at biotechnica that's how you know once you have shown those certificates then of course they'll ask a question related to that if you have qualified that then of course you get a job now if you lack technical skills you can always take online certifications or offline certifications from biotechnica all the details are given in the description now forward with that you should engage with startup communities such as birac or various other communities follow the startup news be updated with the funding rounds who's getting funding what exactly is who's getting the expansion and then the moment you realize that a company is going to expand you apply okay for example biotechnica is expanding so you can apply right you can easily get in now you have to understand the job description 
and tailor make your resume according to the job description okay now for mega biotech and pharma companies let me tell you if you are a fresher if you are applying directly 99% of you will get disappointed because they will reject you so the easiest way is work in a mid size biotech company gain experience then come here of course getting directly is also possible so you should enroll in certification courses in bioinformatics clinical data management good manufacturing practices ich chmp and all of that then you should also target campus placements or you can health tech help of biotechnica we have a dedicated placement cell for all our internships so we place you after that so you can take help of biotechnica we will help you prepare for the aptitude and technical tests also and of course you should optimize your linkedin profile as well now i'll give you some general tips internship is the gateway to get into your job in any any of these companies volunteer if you can be industry ready learn techniques such as hplc gcms spectrophotometers gain knowledge about regulatory frameworks fda ich guidelines do networking be actively participating in all the biotech communities build a portfolio of the projects which you do and publish papers if you can showcase your lab skills certifications research papers and reports that you have worked on give some references who will pick the call and endorse you develop your skill set both soft skills as well as technical skills communication skills team working skills because they're going to ask you all these questions and enroll in courses which are focused on the latest tech- technologies such as bioinformatics ai ml data visualization clinical data management and adopt these strategies effectively make notes of whatever i said ask questions below and i'll guide you and remember this that as a fresher it's not that it's end of the world and you cannot get a job first t- step is always the hardest right so whether you target a small startup or a big size pharma company or mid size biotech company it doesn't matter you have to know that if you are help bent to achieve it the whole universe is going to give it to you but for that to happen you have to take help of biotech so we have a lot of courses internships and hands on training wet lab as well as dry lab you can take help of biotechnica and the first step is comment below what do you need and i'll help you thank you so much for watching this video keep shining take care bye bye